Hi guys, it's Hin. Today I'm gonna talk about Rimowa Carry On. If a thousand dollar carry on was to buy it or not. If you're new to my channel, I am personally traveling a lot, so I made this YouTube channel to share travel stories, travel tips, and so on. Let's get started. <laughs> So the reason why I wanted to buy Rimowa Carry On is because I traveled a lot and I wanted to have a sturdy one that doesn't break. I had like five broken ones before. So the Carry On I got, I bought it at Korean Incheon Airport duty free shop for $1,000 and I had to pay like tax after. It was about like a $1,100. Before I buy, I was debating if I want to get a weight carry-on or Rimowa carry-on which had a lot of price difference but I love their design so that's why I was considering I went to both shops and tried different colors and like wheels Final option for me was Rimowa because of their global warranty for 5 years which was very big benefit for me because away carry on they have 10 year warranty which is better but i can't use it if i'm not in us so i'm gonna show you the overview of remote carry on first and i'm gonna walk you through the pros and cons on this luggage first of all i travel a lot so last six months i went on a seven different country travel in asia i personally use it all the time for that travel that's why it has a little bit of like um, scratches and stuff but I never put it as like a checked in luggage so it's pretty clean still so this is like review after six months so I figure out something is bad something is good so the model I got is after Rimowa changed their logo last year. They used to have some like plastic belt thing, but they changed to a plate. It has like two handles, which is like nice about it. It goes back to its position. So you can carry any way that you want. And it has handle that stops anywhere that you want. It can go very long, which is good for carrying other bags together. It has two locks instead of zipper and it's TSA approved of course and then you can open like this and it has two compartments with their signature um, design so it can like compress the things that what you have inside and it has two pockets it has linings of course it's which is very very thick so you don't need to worry about like break it i wish they have like one side that's like zipper so it's like stays in there without like falling apart so i need to use like pouch like small accessory bags if you carry a lot of small stuff maybe you should think about other brands and the wheels are very very soft and it's pretty strong it's bigger than a normal luggage wheels which is so smooth even like it's like not a flat floor it works better than other brand um, wheels that I have used so it comes with two things inside of the bag I think it's the cover for the Rimowa carry-on too you if you don't use it you can keep inside of it and it has the logo and the symbol both sides and it comes with the, this little nice brand book due to this video i actually figured out i need to sign up for the global warranty online i need to put my number to get the service so it has the guarantee book and a sticker it comes with like every language the shop you bought it already give you the guarantee service number so you gotta sign up with that online to get the service and it has owner's manual which i haven't read <laughs> But it's really cute. I love how they made this little part. It makes what's different with the luxury brands and the normal brands, I think. And then it has like a little luggage tag, but I don't think it's that pretty. So it's just there if you want to use it. So that's it. It's very simple. It's just luggage. So it doesn't really come with a lot of stuff. Away luggage comes with a lot of good stuff inside like power bank, for the extra um, part and then they also give you like plugs for different countries which is easy to use so you can charge your phone everywhere so let me be honest there are disadvantages with remote carry-on sometimes pretty things doesn't always come perfectly first of all this was expensive compared to other brands like you gotta think about 
twice before buying it. If you're a frequent flyer and you want sturdy one that you want to invest, then it's maybe a good choice. Second, it's heavy. 4.3 kg, which is pretty heavy for a carry-on. I usually travel with 12 kg allowance, which is fine for me because I can still stuff like 7 kg in it. But if you travel with flights that you need to pay extra for the carry-on, or they only allow like 5 kg, 7 kg, you gotta think about it. Number three, so because of this is made of aluminum, you can fit in more than it actually fit inside. So it has the compartments like this, which is for compressing the products that you can put in. But I found it, it's a little bit uncomfortable actually, because sometimes I carry my luggage inside, there's laptop, there are pillows, there are blankets. But when I want to open it, it just like come everywhere. I wish they have like one side that's like zipper so it's like stays in there without like falling apart. So I need to use like pouch, like small accessory bags. It has to be organized otherwise it's like messy. If you carry a lot of small stuff and if this compartment doesn't work for you, maybe you should think about other brands. This is like really good for carrying other bags on the top of it because it's like it has the shape so even though you put like heavy things on the luggage it still keeps the shape and the bag is okay i highly recommend for choosing the remote carry-on if you are a design lover and if you travel a lot at least like i don't know like 10 times a year it's worth it if you like lighter bag, if you want other options, for example, like the power bank, like more modern functions on the luggage, then you can find some other like startup brand or away luggage. There are many other options. So that's it. This is my honest review on $1,000 luggage that I paid for. After six months, I still like Remote Carry On because I feel like I can use it after 10 years still. But if you have any other recommendations on luggage brand or any other luggage that you really like, please let me know because my big luggage just broke. It was from other brand. I need to buy one new one. Hope you like my video and see you next time. Bye.